Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sisson here with a video here today. We're bringing you guys the first video of 2020 and we're doing best center setups episode number two. So right off the bat, if you guys would like to submit, of course, the first thing in the description down below, we're gonna post it as frequently as we can. We just guys actually post. We, we you just have to actually submit it. I'm sorry. Like literally just fix your desk, clean, just lit it. Literally, all you gotta do is just move it, okay? And then take the freaking picture. Regardless, guys, I appreciate you so very much, as always. I mean, the series is gonna be fun. It's hopefully gonna be really dope. All the component questions you guys have will be in the description down below. Um, that's it, that's all the good stuff. I mean, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing going, and I'll see you guys in a second. Let's do it. All right, guys, so first up is a graphic designer. His name is Jake, and you can see his setup is super, super freaking clean. Given the actual vibes, the purple and blue vibes when it comes to lighting and like having the recipe RGB is probably like the best way you can set up a nice shot. And given the fact, it looks super, super nice. I can see you're, of course, a Razer fan, and I only figured out where his PC was. It's actually the Mac Mini 2018, and it's under the left speaker. I looked for it for literally maybe like 10 or 15 minutes because I couldn't see it. Um, but hey, super, super clean setup. Now, as for the Mac Mini, it is a 2018 version, so within it, it has a 3.2 GHz Core i7 alongside with 32 GB of DDR4 RAM. Now, of course, that is probably not enough, so we, of course, matched it with a Blackmagic eGPU, which basically allows you to put modules of GPUs inside it and kind of, like, runs through the actual PC, and you get more power, of course, for your uh, actual PC. So for his peripherals, he's running the Razer Krynosa Chroma Keyboard with the Glorious Model O mouse. Now his speakers are the Razer Nomo Chromo speakers. That is, I'm not trying to say that three times over, but he also has a Logitech Pro Webcam C920 above his actual monitor, which is an Acer R240HY Bid X 23.8 inch monitor, if you want the specifics, if you guys like it so very much. Now he also has, of course, the Blue Yeti Nano mic. He has the Razer headset stand alongside with both, for some reason, Amazon Echo and Google Home Mini. I mean, why not, I guess? Uh, the Razer Flyerfly RGB mouse pad and two Philip Hue lights that, of course, cast that blue and pink light on the top and the bottom. And his desk was actually handmade with a piece of wood from a local store that he, of course, purchased. I mean, that is probably the coolest part of it all. Of course, sanding, making, shaping your own desk happens to be a really cool personal feature that you can put in your setup. If I could do that, I would, but I'm not. Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm, I'll stick with the IKEA desk. I'm good. Um, overall, the setup itself is super clean, super nice, and thank you so very much to Jake for submitting and the actual pictures themselves, the top-down view one. If, yo, if you're submitting your setup, that is a dope shot. That's all I'm saying. All right, so next up is a graphic designer known as Ian or Ian Wolfie. Um, I don't, all I'm saying is your parents set you up for like the most successful brand name ever. It's just like super cool. Um, regardless, he also goes by Starfish Designs. Now, as for his setup, it's super clean, super minimal. It has a lot of space, of course, and I'm actually a big fan of having like a different viewpoint for whether you're designing or whether you're actually doing gaming. I think that's pretty smart and cool. And overall, the lights itself is just very, very nicely placed with the corner desk. And I'm a big fan. As for his peripherals, he's running the Yoso keyboard alongside the Steel Series 600 mouse with a 27-inch Acer monitor for his designing section. Now for his game monitor, he's running the Samsung 32-inch curve monitor, and of course he has the Xbox in the corner. Now, unfortunately, he does not list his PC specs, but that is okay. Overall, the setup is super, super clean, like I said once before. I'm never like 100% sure if I ever want an L-shaped desk. I'm, a pretty, I'm like a big fan of like the, the very, very long desks, but overall, you give me a very, very dope, clean vibe with your uh, actual L-shaped desk. The cool little entertainment spots kind of have in your corner and overall a very very clean setup all right guys so next setup is by a graphic designer that goes with that name of lloyd you can see his nice cool logo in the middle of his actual monitor right here right now so overall the setup is super super freaking clean i think the coolest part for me happens to be though is the fact that he customizes scenery a little bit i mean the plain white walls we all got them we all understand them like i would love to have like a cool like black feature wall that way my rgb likes like looks like really really dope like on the backdrop of it but for him he actually has like a cool brick kind of like wallpaper and the fact that he combined that with like a nice white led light that like unique kind of like asset alone just kind of completes the setup for me personally and so as for his peripherals, he has a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor, he has a Corsair Void Pro wireless headset, he has a Corsair ST100 headset stand, he has a Logitech G903 wireless mouse, he also has a Logitech PowerPlay mouse pad, he has a Corsair K55 keyboard, a Blue Yeti microphone, and to finish it off, a Logitech C920 webcam. And as for his computer specs, he gave us the main components being the Asus RTX 2080 Dual, the Intel i9-9900K processor, paired with 16GB of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM. 
Overall, guys, his setup is super clean. I'm a big fan, once again, of the actual scenery change. I mean, if you think about his setup without the actual brick background, it's just like a blank wall. And overall, I mean, we all kind of have those kind of like blank walls, but without that, you can kind of see the setup. It would not be as cool and kind of like cozy as it looks like. And overall, if you guys are looking to kind of make change your setup, I would say maybe even start with the wall. I mean, it's a pretty cool idea. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much, Floyd, for sending it in. And let's go into the next one. All right, guys, this next setup here is put together by a graphic designer that goes with the name of Made by Braden. So for me, this is a really cool standard and kind of staple of what a really nice setup basically is. Like, let's say you guys are individuals who, of course, want to invest in themselves and make their setup like a, a little bit more nicer or kind of upgrade a little bit. Let's say you have like a $400 limit. You can get a nice desk, a nice monitor, a nice kind of like simple keyboard that's RGB. And of course, you can actually get some really cheap and uh, really good, of course, case fans and a little bit of RGB kind of art. That's probably the most expensive thing is the RGB kind of memory sticks. But an RGB case fan, you're going to get an LED strip all in for that kind of like budget. And you can get a really, really nice clean setup. As for his peripherals, there's a lot of tech G602, a Razer or Nada. He has the two monitors being the Samsung 27 inch curved monitor, and of course the Dell inch monitor as well. He has a Huon, I believe is how you say it, graphics tablet, the H950P. As for his super beautiful desk, it is called the d 63 inch extra large computer desk, HyperX Cloud 2s. He has a five fine metal condenser microphone, Xbox One, Polk Audio 10 inch subwoofer, alongside with a B free eight inch subwoofer. And to top it all off, he has a Sanyo 42 inch TV. And as for his PC parts, he only gave me the main components, once again, being the RX 580, the Ryzen 5 2600, and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Overall, nice, clean, standard setup. And for me, if you guys are looking for inspiration when it comes to, of course, getting a nice setup, this is a very clear one to actually take from. And thank you very much, Braden, once again, for, of course, setting yours in. All right, guys, the last setup for today's video comes from a 3D designer known as Romeo Cosa. Now, you guys actually might know from episode number one. However, in this, uh, the fact that episode number one was a few months ago now, he ended up actually updating his setup once again. And who would have thought that it could have been better? I mean, if you guys want to know what my setup I want to be, like what I want myself to look like, it was like this, right? For me, this is like a very like like studio infused, ready to be inspired, ready to design, ready to do what you got to do kind of environment in which I would love to strive to kind of have for my own self. But I feel like the amount of time and the dedication you need to have a setup that put th this much thought and effort into, you need to really be in love with the place that you're in now. For me, I'm not in that place, but for like, this is just a very, very beautiful design. And I, there's no way I wasn't going to show this. I, I mean, look at it, literally just look at it. And just so I can give you guys his peripherals, once again, he has a 43 inch super ultra wide display from Samsung, Sony monitoring monitors, Razer or not a Chroma, a Razer Lance head mouse, HyperX Fury mouse pad, his microphone is the Shure mic, and his mic arm is the Blue Arm Compass. And he did want to clarify that the pictures that we are looking at are taken by a Pentax K5 MK2. And for his PC, he's running the new 2080 Ti from MSI, the i9 9900K, 32GB of RAM, 2TB of SSD storage, 2TB of hard drive storage, and he has NZXT water cooling, and of course the Intel Optane 32GB. Overall, one of the more cleanest setups I've ever seen. It's just one of those things that I would love for mine to look like, but I personally just do not have that patience and time to do it at this very moment. But I know for sure when I land that spot, I'm just gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna go all out and put and really, really invest in myself kind of thing. This is exactly what Romeo did. And I just honestly applaud you so very much for that. And of course, once again, thank you for uh, kind of sending me your new setup and uh, so everyone can see it. All right, guys, at the end of the video here today, I do hope you guys ended up enjoying all that good stuff. Of course, if you did like the video, please leave a like on the video. If you have any component questions, all the stuff I was talking about in the video here today will be in the actual description, like named, all that good stuff. And uh, overall, I would love for you guys to please send your setups, yeah? Just literally just the first link in the description, send it, clean your desk. It's not that difficult. You literally just take stuff off your desk, put the shit in the garbage, please. Just all you gotta do, okay? Much love. And uh, overall, I mean, that's all. That's really it. I mean, if you guys love me, just comment something down, say something, and love the video and share it. All that good stuff, right? Love you guys. Talk to you guys later. Since HQ out, then I get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. If you have any questions for the people in the video, I'm sure if you comment down below, they'll help you guys out. Yeah.